Alright, so I just got done watching Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 9, The Battle of the Humongonauts. Now, uh, immediately this episode opens with uh, the police chief, Patrick Wilburn's character, and uh, the mayor, Fred's dad, in the, the newly opened Tiki Bar. Well, this, uh, this actually, like, the music was, was quite good. Uh, sort of 50s-style pop uh, band plays. I can't remember what they were called. Didn't write it down. But um, the sound design immediately struck me as, as insane. It was... Uh, you know, sort of digitally, you know, edited so this music sounded like it came from the 50s, and it was strange to hear it sound so good against uh, the, the, the voice acting. Um, however, I, I found that the, uh, you know, uh, the, the way, like, it's basically what happens is this band is playing, everyone's having a good time, and the police chief and the mayor excited about the prospect of this tiki bar, and then uh, this, this giant green King Kong and Carbo Hulk looking thing just just destroys the hell out of the Tiki Bar, um, you know, just just destroys it, and, uh, you know, the the whole thing is totally wrecked, everyone's freaking out, everyone's, like, running away, and the, the lead singer of this band is hurt, uh, she's this woman, uh, who, I don't, and the mayor's, like, holding her, but the, the police, the police captain is not, uh, not at all concerned, he, and he, he says something along the lines of, uh, uh, yeah, he, he, he says that, that, uh, you know, he hopes that this happens again, so that he could see it, see this happen again, because it was an amazing spectacle, and, uh, yeah, and they weren't, they weren't at all distraught by the fact that, uh, this, uh, singer was, was, was hurt, clearly, I don't know, it was very bizarre, um, I mean, and, and so the puppet, Scooby-Doo, at one point in the very beginning of him and Shaggy's beef, uh, I believe in episode six, he had a little puppet he named, I want to say the puppet's name was Henry, um, and, uh, it's returned. Scooby's still hanging out with the puppet. Apparently it's been hanging out with the puppet the whole time. That excites me. Love, love good continuity. Um, and, and in this episode, you actually see Shaggy and Velma making out. For real. You see him making out. It's two cartoon characters making out. And Scooby-Doo, you know, uh, sort of interrupts them, uh, because he hears them, you know, like, sort of making, uh, vague, giddy, loving, you know, small talk in between. Uh, make out sessions and, and believes it to be, you know, some kind of horror atrocity going on. And uh, Scooby Doo actually says to Shaggy, "Are you cheating on me? Are you cheating on me?" It's crazy, it's crazy. And uh, I feel bad for Scooby because it seems like Scooby, you know, as as being a dog and not a human, has been conditioned by Shaggy to uh, have this this vaguely romantic uh, relationship with him, where you know Shaggy is his is his uh, sole provider. In terms of uh, you know social needs, and like in terms of like like you know the Maslow's hierarchy, uh, Shaggy is providing Scooby with all this, but but they seem to you know mutually benefit from it, and and Scooby feels that Velma will take this because Sha- you know Velma feels like Shaggy's not spending enough time with with her, and he's spending too much time with Scooby Doo. But what I don't understand that this episode doesn't seem to come to the conclusion is why can't he have both? They're different types of relationships. They're clearly different types of relationships, you know. Scooby is his, is his best friend, and, and Velma is his, is his love. And it's a different kind of love. There's, there's familial love, brotherly love, that's, that's what Scooby and Shaggy have. And then there's, there's, uh, there's romantic, truly romantic love, and that's uh, what, what Shaggy and Velma have. And uh, okay, uh, An- Angel Dynamite returns in this episode. If you remember her, she's this sort of, uh, you know, sort of unexplained uh, older radio DJ friend of the, of the mystery team. And uh, she plays the new hit from the band from earlier in the show. It's called uh, The Words Are Stuck in My Throat. And, uh, you know, they sort of at, like ask her for some help uh, counseling the group because, you know, th- we've sort of reached the peak of, of uh, tension between Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma. And uh, she says, I can't help. I'm only good at two things, spinning records and being a Stone Cold Fox. What kind of lesson do we teach our kids with that? All right. Um, Fred, Fred makes everybody uniforms in this episode that sort of uh, resemble... I, I can't come up with a good pop culture, but, but very uh, very much in the style of, of some sort of 80s uh, action cartoon teen style. And I think they look slick. I wish the gang would stick with them. It would give it a totally new thing. They get rid of it at the end of the episode, because that's, that's how it works. Uh, and uh, I don't know, there's just the, the love triangle between Shaggy, Scooby, and Velma seems to be the driving force of, the, of, of this episode in particular, but just the series as a whole. Uh, it's, it's very powerful just to think about it's, and it's because Scooby is not just a friend, and he's not uh, not an ex-lover or anything. He's he's Shaggy's pet dog, right? But he's uh, anthropomorphic, right? 
So it's I think it's of literary power to see where this goes and, and how they how they explore it. Uh, <clears throat> it's revealed like the relationship between the, the police chief in this episode and the uh, and the mayor is uh, much more prominent than in the past and uh, it's it's there's a quick throwaway gag where the mayor is is proposing this uh, monster truck thing or something and uh, is a way to catch the uh, you know the bad guys which are these giant King Kong looking things uh, the, which was not interesting I found I found this uh, the subplot to be not very interesting it's very obvious you know they kept talking about insurance and how oh this is great because we can get our insurance back and uh, you know uh, Make money, make money by having things destroyed and manipulating the, the system and the economy of the town. Uh, so it was obvious to me that whoever owns these these insurance companies, which they were two brothers, Max and Jack, like they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys. They threw you a red herring. They throw it out within eleven minutes of the episode. Um, but yeah, see, the police chief. He's, he's doing painting, and he quickly shows a painting to him. That's um, it's of him like in in the police chief chief painted it of the mayor. Of him in Roman Roman attire, uh, being fed grapes from from a hand off uh, out of the painting, and uh, you know what kind of relationship do they have? Like like the police chief of this Crystal Cove town is uh, painting self portraits of the mayor. It's interesting. It's interesting. Some going on there, and I don't I don't think they're going to explore that. I think that that's just up to me to you know go go make up stuff on my my own devices. This episode had a lot of great shots in it. There's this one where the two um, King Kong brother insurance brothers guys are fighting, and they they land beneath the pool together. And then Fred's trap pulls it up. It's just beautifully directed. Uh, you know the brotherly rival between them at the end, where they explain the, their long history of, of rivaling with one another, was was quite uh, charming. And you know uh, probably had the most genuine motivation compared to a lot of uh, previous. Previous ones, especially the, the episode prior, there was very little motivation in that. Um, and ultimately, the, the episode ends with uh, you know Shaggy being giving an ultimatum, Scooby or Velma, and he uh, you know just li- he literally just runs away from from the decision. And he should just drop them both. I mean, in in terms of, of uh, the real world, he he's being asked to choose between his dog and his girlfriend, and and why can't they they find some kind of happiness together? I I just I just can't fathom it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.